The primary reason for the rejection of your literature review paper is because it's descriptive. But if your literature review is not designed to summarize people's work or to highlight existing body of knowledge. Your literature review is actually designed to find gaps in knowledge. How do you achieve that objective of finding gaps in knowledge? When you do a literature review and that review is very descriptive, you are defining things, you are explaining things, quite often you get that rejection. Yes, summaries are a key component of the literature review process because if you don't summarize, you will not be able to highlight those gaps. However, when you do your review and everything from A to Z are side-by-side -side summaries of people's work, that review will always get rejected. But if you want to write a literature review that gets accepted in reputable journals, then you need to do the following. Number one, you need to summarize the findings of other people. Number two, you need to cross compare the works of other people, even if those works have diverse opinions or diverse conclusions. That is to say, one person reaches a positive conclusion, the other one reaches a negative conclusion. It is your job to cross compare even those works that disagree. Number three, you need to evaluate and investigate. Evaluation means that you are looking at the conditions under which a particular research was conducted. You're looking at the limitations of that research. You're looking at the assumptions of that research. You are looking at the limitations of a particular model that may have been applied in that particular research. All right. By the time you do that, you also focus on finding the gaps, highlighting the gaps that exist as you go along in those in looking at those work. All right. You are summarizing, you are cross comparing, you are evaluating and you are highlighting gaps. And it doesn't also hurt to add your own voice to your literature review, your voice in the sense that when you identify a gap and you have an idea of how that gap could potentially be fixed, you have the right to mention that in the process of your literature review. There are other components of literature review that we are not discussing just now. But if you do what I have just mentioned now, you will get a literature review that doesn't get called out for major corrections or even an outright rejection. This is Academy of Scholarships and Transitions. And if you like what we are doing here, the only thing you do for us is to share this video. All right, share this video with your friends and keep following for more information like this.